Hello! Today I have just come out to Carvale, I think it's called. Um, it wasn't what I expected to be honest, but it's turned out right so far. I've been down 10 minutes and just walking down the path, um, which I think is down to the Carvale nature, uh, the actual wetlands part of it. But I've just seen um, a pair of bullfinches, which is great because I hardly ever see those. So I managed to get managed to get a picture of them. Um, well, the male anyway, the female kind of like is around here somewhere. So I'm still looking for them again because they are about. And um, uh, also, I just saw a couple pair of buzzards flying overhead. I think it was a pair of buzzards. It was, certainly they were together. Do they fly together? I don't know. Um, so I've got a got a picky of them. Probably not very good. But bullfinches, well chuffed with them because yeah. I, I very very rarely see them we got one in the garden once and, uh, and that was about it um, but I've never seen them out and about so not a great picture but I've seen them and I managed to get a pick so I'm going to carry on to the wetlands see what else is down there well I can hear goldfinch sorry goldcrest calling somewhere up there but I don't really fancy my chances to be honest. So as you can see from around here it's just like a walkway and everything's surrounded by trees so any pictures you do get are obviously going to be in the branches and quite well not great shall we say but I don't care if I can find a pick of a gold crest I'll always try and get one. more to this place than you first think. There's uh, a lot over there. Just seen a couple of herons come flying in into wind. So uh, I, try, I tried to get a couple of pics of them actually flying, which I'm not very good at. Um, but yeah, I think down here they've just made us some kind of a an artificial San Martin bed from the blurb. Uh, San Martin bank rather. Um, so I'm probably going to come back in the spring summertime see whether I can get some of those. I mean, it's quite, it's it's all right. This kind of like, this place you think it's kind of not maintained very well. And it it kind of, there are better place, places, maintained places, but this seems all right. It's, it keeps getting better. So I'm going to carry on round and, uh, and see what there is. Again, look here, you can... Uh, you can just walk right around near the edge of the reed beds. Obviously, the water's high at the minute, um, but it will go down again later on. But the fact that uh, you can wander around relatively close means some potential good shots for warblers and things later on in the uh, in the warmer months. So, I th although initially this place didn't look that promising, I think I will actually come back. It's about a 45 hours drive from me. Sorry, 45 minute drive from me. Um, but I, I can't like it. I think if you come up quite often, you get to know the place and, and find out what, what's here and, and what isn't and where things are. So, yeah, interesting place so far. Not with that many pictures, but uh, never mind. I've only just realised as well, this is uh, next to a place called Mark and Vale, just um, near the, uh, just off the M1. And I used to build safety equipment for Mark and Vale um, years ago. I was there in electronics production and we used to make um, safety measures and safety equipment that goes down mines and I remember sending some off to stuff off to Mark and Vale. So uh, yeah, nice to see it I suppose in one way. It's not a mine anymore of course. It looks like it's all industrial estate and obviously I think the mining, part of the mining works is what is now the Carvale um the well the, the wetland area so i think that's what's happened i assume that's what's happened but yeah there you go potential sledging hill there as well not that i'm gonna come down it but always good well maybe not
while I'm here today, I thought I would talk about this. Oh, what's that? I've no idea. It's a funny little flying, fast flying water bird. Someone else know what that is. I haven't got a clue, to be honest. Uh, I'm still trying to learn. God, there's, so, there's loads of water birds. I'm not normally into water birds. I'm a woodland bird person, woodland farmland birds, things like that. I, d I don't come down very many wetlands areas. I just tend to try and look for the, the smaller the better as far as I'm concerned. Um, anyway. Get yourself a camera, come out, try and find all this bird life and, and nature and wildlife before it disappears, because it will disappear and it is disappearing. And that's one of the reasons why I thought I'd come out and see it before it goes. I want to see these birds before they start getting in increasingly, increasingly small numbers. And um, uh, and just have a look and just, just come and flying past. Will you see it going past my head? You may do. Yeah, it just went past there. Um, but yeah, get out and come out. It, it's great. It's cold. My hands are freezing. My nose is running. But sorry. Well, I'm pretty much back at, well, near the car park now, so um, I'm going to head off. Not that many photos, I'm afraid. Um, you just never know with places sometimes. This is great. It's got a mixture of woodland and valleys and wetland areas and, and paths and trails, and it will come back up again. At the moment, though, it's just hard to spot stuff today. So um, we'll see how it goes next time. Um, probably reckon I reckon I'll come back around about April May time I think see what it's like then and um, but yeah see you next time